my big dipper here. Look at that. The big, I thought that was a domino. No, no, no. That's a big dipper. Points at the North Star, you know. So, see? see it looks like the real deal. That's the, that's the little dipper, oh, brother. But, wait. Yeah. Crap, man. You got ripped off. What a letdown. <laughs> little dipper. That's what I'm going to start calling you. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. <laughs> Uh, a right. little dipper. Okay. All right. Count it off, LD. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Frankie and Johnny were sweethearts. Oh, Lord, how did they love? Swore to be true to each other. True as the stars above, he was her man, wouldn't do her wrong. Frankie went down to the corner, just for a bucket of beer. She said, Mr. Bartender, has my love and Johnny been here? He's my man, he wouldn't do me wrong. Don't want to cause no trouble I ain't gonna tell you no lie I saw him an hour ago With a gal named Nellie Bly He's your man But he's doing you wrong Frankie looked over the transom She saw to her surprise There on cop Johnny lay with old Nelly Bly. He's my man. He's doing me wrong. So she drew back her kimono, took out her old 44. Rudy, two, two, three times she did shoot right through the hardwood door. Shot her man. Cause he was doing the rubber tied ducky bring out the rubber tied hack I'm taking my man to the graveyard but I ain't bringing him back Lord he was my man but he done me wrong bring out a thousand policemen bring them around today Lock me down in a dungeon cell and throw the key away. I shot my man for doing me wrong. Come on. your man he was doing me wrong this story has no moral this story has no end this story goes to show that there ain't no good in men he was your man and he done you wrong Rubber tied buggy. Rubber tied buggy. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I'll say it again. Rubber, Rubber tied, tied buggy. buggy.
when it comes to yeah. buggies. <laughs> They're rubber tied. Rubber tied, man. I, but do you really do you have any right idea? Yeah, you. do you have any idea what that means? I I know exactly what it is, but I'm not going to tell you. Oh, <laughs> come it up to if you don't know. You know, I mean, the world out there right now, they're all just. Click, 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 clicking on the internet. I got a, a challenge for you guys. Why don't y'all go down to the library and see if you can find it? If you if you do, I mean, that would really be amazing. And then you can uh, you can give us a, a holiday. What's back. a library? A library? Um, <laughs> it's it's a lie. It's a place that you go to lie. You lie down. You don't tell the truth. Hmm. Uh, and Barry's there. Hmm. Yeah, I think. Isn't that it? <laughs> <laughs> you get buried there. You get yeah, buried there. Yeah, you lie, and then you mm -hmm. get buried like uh, like poor Johnny. But, um, yeah, yeah, and a, a, a <laughs> rubber-tied buggy and rubber-tied hack. Yes. Yes, yes. You, yes. you can't have one without the other. No, you, you can't. You can't. You can, I, but... It... I, I really think it probably has something to do uh, with with a hearst, because if you think about the rubber rollers that, are, that they put on the caskets when they roll them out, you know, the little wheels that are made of rubber. Um, and that's that's what I see in my mind, but I don't know if that's real or not. But you know what exactly you what could it is. just You're be not... spreading misinformation <laughs> <Yeah>. right now. <laughs> like that's a dangerous slippery slope. Well, you know, hey, you know, false news. You know, misinformation. What are you gonna do? You know, this. I guess these songs were pretty inaccurate anyway. So. Well, you know, I know, but they they told the story. Um, you know that people wouldn't necessarily be able to find just by. Of course, they didn't have the computer. We know that, but uh, and back in the days, probably when this was written, there there was uh you know barely even radio so uh you know well, minstrels would go from town to town i believe wouldn't they and what would they you know and they, they you know from what i remember from what you remember <laughs> yes <laughs> absolutely yeah yeah at yeah. least once a week at least once a week <laughs> <laughs> stroll into the town <laughs> And, and with her brand new murder ballad. And they'd be ballad. singing their yeah. new murder with ballads. The, the new murder ballads. you'd be like, oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, Lord. Here comes what old, old, old city here comes folk old, been yeah. up to. Here comes old uh, I'm never ageless, going to yeah, the city. ageless Justin again. Yes. Yeah, with another singing uh, a, of another, their, yeah, gallows ballad. The shootings, you know? Yeah. The yeah. prostitution. Prostitution, yeah. And women with men's names. Yeah, yeah, like I know. Frankie, I know, you know, I know. Well, this, this song could have gone either way. What's the world coming to? Well, I've heard, you know, plenty of females named Frankie, but not that many named Johnny. It would be Joni. 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 Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Because I think Joan is the female version of, of John, right? Isn't that right? Or, I, you're not going to tell me that. I either, haven't been you? to the library yeah, to <laughs> confirm that. But. What's a library? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So I can't. Don't a, quote me on that. But, you know, I mean, if some of these other lyrics, you think about it, she, she I mean, she was in her kimono, man. Yeah. I mean, I mean it, that's, she was lounging around as she went She's to hanging a, out in the kimono. A, a bu go, to go get a, a bucket pistol, of beer and a pistol underneath the kimono. apparently it was dusty. Uh, yeah. Did she have to dust it off? Yeah. yeah no, no, yeah, she, she took out. She, she, she drew back the kimono and... And uh, took out her uh, little forty-four. Her little yeah, forty-four. A little forty-four. She had a few of them. I know. I know. She yeah. was like, <laughs> yeah. Which I'm going to go with my little today? my travel forty-four. I mean, a forty. Yeah, forty-four is a, is quite a. You know, that's a quite an intense. Is that like round. a forty-four Magnum? I think so. Those they, are like are they little? little? That's <laughs> what I'm saying. They're like really, like a really big. Off forty-four. Well, she was uh, maybe Frankie was a big girl, and to her, it was little. She I mean, might have been. Uh, she might have been. She might have been a sumo wrestler yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, in, a she's in a kimono. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, but I'm black and white back then. I'm so, this story yeah, completely. Yeah, but pink kimono wouldn't have mattered because it's all black and white. Yeah, right. Back then it was. Yeah, back then, yeah. Mm -hmm. It I've probably the was pictures. a pink kimono, though. It probably was. Yeah, but it really didn't matter. Just 300-pound woman in a pink kimono <laughs> with, a, with a 44 Magnum Ooh, man, walking around the slums of St. Louis. She didn't need a gun. I mean, Looking man. for Johnny. Looking for Johnny. <laughs> looking for Johnny. <laughs> You know, and then my Just, yeah, my dad he he did a version of it that was like a you know a sort of a precautionary uh, tale, a moral tale, um, you know, about a, a guy that was tempted to mm -hmm. cheat on his uh, uh, to his girl, but then uh, he got busted by uh, by her sister. He got busted by her sister. Mm -hmm. yeah. Was she a cop? Yeah, mm, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> she might have been, but I mean, he, you know, I mean, she caught him in the act of like trying to, he to was hit flirting, on her. He yeah. was flirting with her at the right. show, right? right. Red hair, yeah, mm -hmm. red hair girl flirting with her, and he didn't know that uh, a singer and guitar yeah. player named Johnny he was talking about. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I wonder where that story came yeah, from. Yeah, this is hmm. this is. Uh, Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I don't think did. you need a, a library membership to figure no, that one out. No, no. I think, yeah, I think you can you can look that one up on the yeah. internet. 
Yeah, definitely. Mm. So, but uh, but it, it's amazing how songs change, you know, yeah. through the years. How you you know, some a song that means something to some people can suddenly, to a whole generation, influence people in a different way. And then when you go back and you look at the roots of the song, you realize where it came from. In this mm -hmm. case, of course, it's another one of those uh, would be gallows ballads. I don't think she died though, did she? Uh, in the real life, did she? Johnny well, died. Johnny died. Johnny died. Frankie didn't die, and the the female that he was. In, uh, in you know the affair with didn't die didn't die she, either it was just johnny got shot it was just johnny got shot but, but apparently the story was that she both of the women were prostitutes johnny was the pimp and johnny was dating though frankie right and right. and then he went he would go sleep around when she right. was with customers right right i see and then I she see. heard he was out there how could he do messing that? around yeah, how could, while she was messing how, around how could she do that while i'm but why she was, do that while i'm working exactly know? yeah exactly and so she grabbed her kimono and, and 44 <laughs> yeah, and went out looking for him without looking for him but, but she got up she know. killed him in real life but then got off on self defense cuz right. she said he pulled a knife on her and then there were there were films made right later um Right, yeah, yeah, because yeah, they they made all the songs about her, right? The, right, the films right, about right. her, and I think she sued everyone. She sued who everybody, didn't, but didn't uh, tell the story okay. that she got off. Right, uh, right, right. They didn't tell the and the I wouldn't truth want about, to if, if she sent me a lawsuit. Yeah, no, I would. A, I'd pray she show up at my door uh, in a kimono. A murderer yeah. who got away with it. Yeah. Who's three hundred pounds? Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. And, and, yeah, and out there, Johnny uh, I would and not Frankie's. Mess with uh, her. Yeah, Johnny and Frankie's uh, great grandkids out there. Uh, we don't mean you any harm. Please uh, don't put on the kimono. I don't. No, I I'm don't. not sure I, about I, your intentions. Um, yeah, no, um, mm -mm, no, mm -hmm. um, little, uh, my little dipper here. Yeah, a little dipper. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But mm -hmm. my intentions are are good, but my actions uh, sometimes don't speak for my intentions, and it's sad when it goes that way, isn't it? It's pathetic. It's pathetic. <laughs> All right. Well, keep in mind, Frankie and Johnny may come back around and maybe a completely different story next time. Uh, we're going to rewrite it um, as um, um, Fra uh, Frank Etta and Joni. Working title. Working title. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that's the final. ring ring right, does it? It's good to kind of get, the, get yeah. the ideas out there. I'm working on it. <laughs> officers how can it be you will arrest everyone else but not stagger lee he's a bad man cruel stagger lee belly de lion said please don't take my life i got two little babies and beautiful wife that bad man Stagger Lee said what do I care for your baby or your wife you stole my Stetson hat I'm bound to take your life that's a bad man Shot him down with a 44. When I spied Billy, he was lying on the floor in a pile of blood. But under Staggerly, smoking gun. The jury, what do you think of that? I mean, Staggerly shot Billy 
over a Stetson hat Bad man Staggerly The twelve men gathered Hands held high At twelve o'clock They killed him We was glad to see him die He was a bad man It's like a cry for justice, you know. I mean, yeah, really. I mean, of all the American songs and, and the, one, the murder ballads that we've done, it's like to me that within all the reaches of, of, of the roots and the of the tree of American music, this one seems to have the most tendrils reached out as far as storyline and you know, there's that, so much out there about. That's because song. of all the songs that include like murder or gunfights or um, you know gambling, pimps, prostitutes, whatever right, the right. case may be. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. is the only one that hinges on the theft of a Stetson hat. That's it. And I feel like that's <laughs> well, the thing yeah, that taps into yeah. the core. I don't know. And I it's know. like, well, what's wild is it, mm, yeah. The other now day, now I don't know who's yeah. who's guilty. Yeah, you the, know? yeah. And the other day, it's like I pulled down my my, my dad's Stetson hat and I'm looking at it. I was like, oh, Stetson hat. And then I walked outside and 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 then I looked at this song and I was like, wait a second, we've got to tell this tale. Yeah. You know, of course it was different Stetson hat. But uh but yeah, you know, I mean, uh, then the there's viewpoints of this song from uh, told by uh, you know, different people. I mean, possibly the suffragettes heard this and they and there's a version that's told uh, from the viewpoint of Billy DeLion's wife that's like, you know, uh, But you never really even hear about. Right. Like Right, right. And and then in that's in most versions of the song. Yeah, and I think that's maybe fictionalized to a certain extent because in it she, you know, she she goes in and shoots Stagger Lee for having killed her her husband Billy, mm -hmm. and of course that part of the tale is not within this uh, this original version that we just did. Not original, but the, in this version that we yeah. just did. Because this is more like the uh, Mississippi John Hurt version, right? Or yeah, is it, does this yeah. This like, is mm -hmm. more more in close with the Miss Mississippi John Hurt, and I mean, but uh, but you know, this is a song that uh, that they were singing as a. a Getting behind as, a, as an issue for civil rights, and 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 you know, in the late 1800s, early part of the um, you know 1910 by 1910, I think 1911, if I'm right, is when Stagger Lee went into prison. That's when uh, he, because he got out, I think, and then that, he went back that, in and all right, yeah, yeah, oh, that's he, it. He, he went, yeah, he robbed and, and pistol whipped or right, killed somebody, right, I think, right. and yeah, he was a bad man after he was pardoned the first time. Right. Right, you know, but but for some reason, um, you know, he had this his tendrils uh, perhaps in uh, the right pockets, or you know, the, sounds like uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, possibly that where um, he was able to get off of some crimes that perhaps he should have been convicted for a bit more sternly. That's like the line because I was wondered with uh, before I learned the history, I wondered what that Mississippi John Hurt version said. Uh, how can it be? You can rest everybody except Stagger Lee. Step all Stagger Lee. But then. And also, they put the happy ending on it, and they right, they have right. it hung in the gallows, right. and then it's like, yeah. well, it sounds like they they arrested him, so why are you upset yeah. about it? So, yeah. But it, it sounds yeah. like maybe culturally, mm -hmm. people were upset that he he that was he pardoned right, over and over again. Yeah. So, so they wanted to you know um, tell the story in, um, in a in a way that it seemed like he got what he deserved mm -hmm. instead of just uh, instead of getting away you know with the uh, with with the crime that he'd committed. Uh, you know, I mean, I mean, but. Um, Evidently, also from what I've read, um, most accounts say that these two men were friends, uh, maybe maybe associates, maybe you know whatever, but drinking buddies. But evidently, they weren't that good of friends, or he wouldn't have shot him over a hat. And the like. what, yeah, like because they they said I mean, you officially nice, it was yeah. over a uh, a political uh, right, uh, it was like right. a political argument that they had, but. I, yeah, I, I mean, you got a nice hat, but I don't, then I don't care who you support in your politics. Yeah, I just want your but hat if you anyway. snatch my hat, yeah, you better yeah, watch right, out. Right, you brother. better watch out. That's <laughs> it, you know, I think it it's kind of like a challenging someone to a duel. You know? Yeah, yeah, and then mm -hmm. that was not uncommon, you know. Of course, uh, back in those days, you know, uh, but you can't buy a good set of dual guns nowadays. You have to buy antiques. They don't make them anymore. 
Yeah, they, they don't make, make them like they used no, to. No, they don't make them like they used to. <laughs> they don't make the stories like they used to. Um, told very well um, historically and with these lyrics, um, of course, um, of Stagger Lee. <laughs>
yeah, yeah. You know, um, there's various versions of songs like that that I've stumbled across. And, and there's one version that it talks about how <clears throat> he took a he took a big chain and wrapped it around her uh-huh. and sunk her down into the bottom, you know, to make sure that she that she didn't come back up again, make sure the body didn't come back up again. I wondered that, because I don't think that's in... I heard the Doc Watson version, I think, the first time I heard it. Yeah, and, yeah. And uh, kind of wondered, like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but, yeah that, how, that, exactly. That and a lot of those... In, yeah, but. a lot of those murder ballads, yeah, they would... Uh, they would condense them. And the reason, of course, that the first condensing would have been done and the editing of that sort um, would have been so it would fit on a 78, you know. Cause mm-hmm. they had, uh, Is that like a type of iPod? Yeah, it's an iPod. Well, I know. <laughs> yeah, it was an early 78 iPod. 78 gigabyte? Yeah, it was an early, early iPod. <laughs> uh, it's akin to the 4 megabyte um, first <laughs> iPhone. You know, they made it. And then here we are now. But yeah, you know. There you go. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> But uh, that's that's the life that we live in now. But but you know it could only and that's the Carter family had a lot to do with formulating what we know as a hit song, a short hit song because they uh-huh. they like you know, that format. Yeah, you right. Like kind of like the, the right. pop format. Yeah. Uh-huh. Pop format and that it be you know verse, verse, chorus, verse, verse, chorus, instrumental, ver- chorus. Yeah, you know, I mean, just that mm-hmm. simple. But they would speed up songs too that were traditionally a lot slower just so they could make them fit. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not to make them more, like, right, rowdy, right. but just yeah, to fit just them to on the... Because yeah, there's a lot of lyrics and a lot of those, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and some of that stuff. And, and you know, but I remember first hearing this song, Banks of the Ohio, um, from my grandmother Maybell. Mm-hmm. When I was when I was a boy, and what's interesting is that is Maybell's guitar. That's, that is, I, I'm getting like goosebumps thinking about it. You yeah. know, like this is the first yeah. time I've really played it, and uh, man, it's such a it's such a unique instrument, yeah. such a beautiful voice to it. And I was, you know, I was just playing uh, a little slide, and it's such a good guitar for it slide too. Really well. man, it, it really yeah. is. And she played slide. I mean, she played uh, like a dobro. Maybe I mean, it sounds like to me it might have been a Hawaiian guitar, like even laying flat on her uh, uh-huh. on her lap. Um, but um, some of those recordings. But my father, most famous Maybell Carter guitar is the L five that, mm-hmm. that she had. That was, uh, it's now in the Country Music Hall of Fame. <clears throat> but my father had that made for Maybell in the '60s and gave it to her as a present. This one right here. That one right there. Yeah. So that to him, so that she could have a second guitar to take on the road instead of hauling around that, that piece of history. She was worried about something happening. Right, to right. You needed like a road guitar yeah, and a yeah. studio guitar, right, like your right. personal, uh, yeah. yeah, exactly. And so that was her road guitar for that's, a number of years. That's a nice uh, yeah, a nice yeah. road guitar right there. Yeah, it works. A Stromberg, Man. which originally, you know, the, well, the one that's on all the, most of all the recordings that she's playing is an L5 Gibson mm-hmm. made by Lore. I think Lore would have been uh, one of the builders. Or and the that's builder. an arch top too, right? Mm-hmm. Like this one? Yep. Because it looks just like yep. this. So. Pretty much the same guitar Mm -hmm. in lots of ways Uh, of course the headstock's different the body's um, slightly different but I uh, love that this full mother of pearl uh, up there yeah yeah with that uh, that hand carved inlay that looks so nice yeah but lots of history a lot of broken hearts and lots of murder ballads have come out of that song uh, that guitar right there you know so and now one more now one more (laughs) one more yeah and so that uh, the one verse that that I put in there actually was sort of my own spontaneous creation uh, trying to remember the original lyric and, and incorporate that uh-huh. chain, and, yeah, right? Uh, and the put, chain yeah, story, definitely put right? the story yeah. about the chain, um, you know, into the tale. So, uh, of course, um, my great uncle AP did a lot of editing. So, in the in the spirit of AP Carter, I guess that, that's uh, that's why I did that, you know. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, man. Yeah, some man. of those details, you know, in those murder ballads are some of the most like emotional. Verses the ones that kind of go into the detail about because they're they're usually if not always like they're you know true stories right um, right yeah and when you yeah. when you kind of get those details in there it just mm. uh, it's it's creepy and it's, de- I it's darker it. and I, yeah I know it and that's a uh, and we may uh, do the undo this one at another time I know but uh, that's that like Stagger Lee and it talks about the Stetson hat and that's why I'm wearing this today as we were listening to Stagger Lee but I, yeah but I'm the not details your Stetson. I wouldn't yeah I wouldn't mess with the Stetson <laughs> I think it's got a life of its own, but um, but yeah, you know, and and that's the, it's the imagery and, uh, and people, you know, before they had uh, you know the internet, before they had the radio, it's like the the there. I think the mind was a whole lot more accustomed to creating its own story and its own imagery in the head. Of course, everybody still reads, and that's very much part of the human makeup. I think we can go right back to it with music, though. So uh, it's good to look back on history. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. 